Jim Kennedy is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint and a chance at a jackpot of $12,000 today on Scrabble. A six-letter word. The clue is, they're hand-delivered. Hey! It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Charlie Tuna, and welcome to Scrabble. It's the television version of everyone's favorite game. The home view award was sent in by Janice Zero from Edders, Pennsylvania. And we have a t-shirt for you, Janice. Today, the jackpot in our bonus sprint stands at $12,000. It just keeps on going up. Today's winner is going to get a chance at that later on the show. And Charlie has our first two players. She's a realtor. He's our champion. From Torrance, California, Peggy Anton. And originally from Marshall, Minnesota, Jim Kennedy. Right. Nice to have you both here. How are you, Peggy? I'm great. Good. Tell me about yourself. Well, I live in uh, Torrance with uh, 43 teddy bears, uh, one of whom I'm married to. And uh, I brought along my ugliest bear here uh, to well, help me not, out. That's uh, not so ugly. It's kind of cute. No, his name's Quasimoto. He's the ugly Fuzzy ugly Moto. Bear. <laughs> I like this. Fuzzy <laughs> Moto. Fuzzy Moto. <laughs> it's nice to have you here, Peggy. Good luck to you. Thank you. And Jim, tell me about yourself. Well, I just graduated from college with a degree in Spanish, and I love anything that's Spanish. Spanish books, music, plays, Women. Anything. <laughs> Women. Just checking. I just uh, thought I'd throw and, that in. <laughs> All right. And uh, I'm currently teaching English as a second language. Good. And Jim has $1,500. He is our champion, and since that's the case, we'll play Scrabble till somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. Have a chance at the bonus sprint, uh, with possible $12,000. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter T. Nine letters in the word. The clue is sometimes that's the way the ball bounces. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. And don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares. They're worth money. Well, surprisingly enough, not at this moment. So let's have some tiles. The 11 and the 10. Well, there are oh. three T's. One up there and two to choose from. Uh, several T's. Well, I'll take a T. Uh-oh. I'm going to take another T. That's not good. Jim, over to you. Okay, I don't know, Chuck. I'm going to take them two and the five, please. O and an S. <clears throat> okay, place the S, please. Sometimes that's the way the ball bounces. Okay, I don't know. Place the O. Okay, there's still money up there. I don't know it anyway, but I'm going to take six and the three. E or a P. Okay, the E, please. And I don't know what place the P. Sometimes that's the way the ball bounces, Peggy. <laughs> Goody, it bounced over here, but I have brain death. So uh, a nine <laughs> and an eight. S and an N. OK, uh, give me an F. There's that $500. That ball is still bouncing. Sometimes that's the way the ball bounces. <laughs> place the N. No, that's a stopper. You know what it is, Jim? I know what it is. <laughs> Southwest? Southwest is exactly right, yes. <laughs> Probably not an expression commonly used anywhere <laughs> about anything. <laughs> Peggy building on the letter S in Southwest, five letters in the word. The clue is burglars rarely break into them. Do they? Okay. No, don't well, they? Let's see. Let's have a seven. And a six. O and a G. Okay, let's place that G. And the O. One thousand dollars, Peggy. Burglars rarely break into them. No, anything I would come up with, burglars uh, would break into. So I guess I'm gonna have to take mm. some more tiles. A five and a four. H and a U. The H. Burglars rarely break into them. Okay, I don't know it, Chuck, so I'm going to take two. <laughs> M Place you? the M, please. Back to you, Peggy. Oh, it's Stopper City. Well, it let's is. have another tile. Let's fill my plate, number three. N or a U? The N. Can't give you the last letter. Burglars rarely break into them. Tongs? A 
burglar will break into a tongue occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, have any idea what this is? I have no idea, unfortunately. Oh, come on. We can't play speed word. It's down the last... It's down the last... <laughs> Thank you. That's enough. <laughs> Burglars rarely break into songs. Oh, oh, songs. Well, that was obvious. Well, did someone on our staff say songs? That's what you wrote. <laughs> songs. Jeff said songs. Well, it figures. I thought that was a pretty good one. Without the S, it was kind of tough, though. Okay, Peggy, building on the letter O in songs, eight letters in the word. The clue is the cornfield. Thank God I keep getting these oh, This is a good one, too. <laughs> I like this one a lot. Give you $1,000. Tell me what this is. This is the cornfield. No? No, I'd have to go for that other thousand. Give me a 10 and a 9. Well, you're going to like this one. Oh, dear. My God, it's those T's I, again. You just did a T's today. <laughs> Give me I mean. a T. <laughs> and another T? That's what I thought. Fuzzy Moto even has a frown. Jim? <laughs> okay, I don't know it. Lots of money up there. Four and six. D or U. I have no idea what that means. The cornfield. I think it means we're out of gas, but it has nothing to do with it. <laughs> okay, I'll place the D. The cornfields. Yeah, I don't know it. Uh, the U. Well, this thing is, these puzzles have been bouncing all over the place. Okay, Peggy. We're the I don't know it twins. Do you realize we've only answered one puzzle, and it feels like we've been on the air for, I don't know, an hour and a half? It's an eight, and a seven. Moving right along. F and an A. <sighs> the F. No! You know what it is, Jim? I don't know it. Speed yet. word. Let's get it over okay. with. The cornfield. Ready? Go. The cornfield. Don't you love this? Well, I can't give you the last letter. You guys look like a couple of... I... I... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Podiatry! <laughs> Podiatry! I agree. It wasn't the easiest one, but it was a good one. Sorry, no one is home here, Chuck. The study of feet. <laughs> Oh, boy. I don't think this has ever happened before. So for all you new people tuning in, it's never happened before. We're out of time, believe it or not. We're going to play the rest of this in speed word, which we haven't gotten through anything yet anyway. So let's see if we can put it together. Building on the letter T in podiatry, six letters in the word. The clue is, I'm scared to death. <laughs> he had a big head. He had a big head. Ready? Go. He had a big head. Humpty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. You see, I have this reoccurring nightmare that this happens and no one ever gets out of speed word. Okay, all right. Money, oh, he gets money? Oh, Jake, sorry. Okay. One, two, three, four, five hundred. All right. Building on the letter H in Humpty, seven letters in the word, and the clue is, some of them are Hollywood producers. Ready? Go. Some of them are Hollywood producers. Peggy. Moguls. Well, good answer, though. It doesn't spell right, but that's okay. Jim, you know what it is? No, I don't. Okay, you're in speed word alone. Peggy can't even play. Some of them are Hollywood producers. Ready? Ready. Go. Mothers? Yes, that's right. I wanted to wait for the 500. Yeah, well, you were trying to get that done. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to give you, okay? We're going to have you a little travel pack, and how about a sleeping bag for Fuzzy Moto there? Sounds good to All me. All right, tell her about it, Charlie. Peggy, for you, Academy Broadway products designed for carefree outdoor fun, featuring this nylon sleeping bag and heavy-duty nylon travel pack, both designed to be machine washable and water repellent, furnished by Academy Broadway. All right, you got all that stuff in our thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, Jim, you got out of that slightly unscathed. Thank you. 2,500. We'll be back to Scrabble Sprint. <laughs> we can get out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Kennedy has 2,500. He's going to try to set a good time here. Let's see how you do, Jim. Okay. All right. First word, five letters. It was heaven sent. 
It was heaven sent. Ready? Ready. Go. N. N. M. It was heaven sent. A. Manny. Manna. Manna was heaven oh. sent. That's food came from heaven. Oh. Second word, seven letters. They have deck hands. They have deck hands. Ready? Ready. Go. L. D. R. They have deck hands. S. E. Dealers. Yes. Next word, eight letters. It's a hard word. It's a hard word. Ready? Ready. Go. N. Tell me. That wasn't what I thought. Of. No, I'm sorry. Ten okay. second penalty. Let's continue. It's a hard word. It's a hard word. Ready? Ready. Go. T. C. C. Concrete? That's right. Next word. Nine letters. They have a lot of face-to-face -face meetings. They have a lot of face-to-face -face meetings. Ready? Ready. Go. Y. L. D. They have a lot of face-to-face -face meetings. Newlyweds? That's right. Whew. Last word, makeup, five letters. It's a tricky business. It's a tricky business. Ready? Ready. Go. A. C. Magic? That's right. Yes. Boy, you nailed those. What happened? What happened oh, to manna? Did you, know, you never heard of manna before? No, manna I never heard of Maybe that's the guy. Yeah, well, probably. Anyway, 47 seconds. We'll be back. Test it. Jim Kennedy's our champion. We have two new players, and Charlie's got them. Charlie? She's a mom. He's a mixologist. From Anaheim, California, Jamie DeRoss. And originally from Woodridge, New Jersey, Dave Brown. All right, how you doing, Jamie? Fine, thank you. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm married to a real sexy man named Lee. Good for you. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and we have a spunky three-year-old boy named Jesse uh -huh. and a new addition to our family. I recently gave birth to a set of twins four months ago. Did you a really? A sweet little girl named Tara and a bouncy baby boy named Tony. Well, that's great. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Hi, Dave. Hi, Chuck. Probably a bartender, I'm guessing. You guessed right. Well, tell me more, Dave. Don't keep me in... Well, I'm hanging in suspense over here. Well, I'd like to say hello to my two little brothers, Tommy and Paul, who are playing hooky today to watch me. Okay. And I'd also like to tell you that I have recently lost 25 pounds on one of those California fad diets. And the reason I took the incentive to do that is because I'm tired of that buzzer going off every time I step into an elevator. Good, so you've lost 25 pounds. Correct. Well, congratulations. Who won the toss, speaking of losing? I did. Okay, Jamie, let's go over to the board here, building on the letter G, nine letters in the word. The clue is... Billy the Kid did it with his boots on. Okay. I'll take tile four and tile five. A Y or a W? Uh, let's try the Y. No, here we go again. Dave? Okay, let's try tile number one. G and a W. Uh, place the W, please. Billy the Kid did it with his boots on. Uh, place the G, please. I'm in the dark. Let's go for tile number three and tile number 11. E or an M? Uh, place the M, please. No. Jamie, Billy the Kid did it with his boots on. I'm going to have to take tile eight. E or an A? Uh, let's try the E. I don't know. Let's try the A. Billy the Kid did it with his boots on. I'm going to take two more tiles. I'll try two and nine. S and an R. Um, let's place the R. And let's go with the S. Billy the Kid did it with his boots on for $500. Oh. I don't know. I'm going to have to take two more tiles, the 10 and the 7. Well, I think I... Let's place the E. Oh. Okay, swaggered. Yes, you swaggered.
Well, I have to apologize to you. The first game went so slowly, but interestingly, that we are out of time. So we're going to play the rest of this in speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Uh, we'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. It's up to you, okay? Actually, it's more even this way. Jamie has one. Dave has none. Building on the letter R and swaggered. Seven letters in the word. The clue is, it's full of dead beats. Ready? Go. It's full of dead beats. It's full of dead beats. Dave, Borscht. Borscht, exactly right. <laughs> Building on the letter T in Borscht, eight letters in the word. The clue is, he can improve your image. He can improve your image. Ready? Go. He can improve your image. Dave. Sculptor. That's right. Two to one. Jamie trying to tie it up. Dave going for the game. Building on the letter S in sculptor. Five letters in the word. The clue is, he was a basket case. Ready? Go. He was a basket case. Dave. Moses. That's right. Boy, just a second. Millisecond behind him. Bingo, bingo. He went right through. Well, you get the travel bag and the sleeping bag. Or the oh, travel great. kit and the sleeping okay. bag. Really? You're excited about it? We got another one. <laughs> tell her, Charlie. Oh, you don't tell? You've already said it? You don't get to say it twice. Well, I just wanted to hear it again. So you get to go camping, and that'll be fun for you. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thank thanks you. Thanks for coming on the show. We enjoyed Thank having you. you. And uh, Dave, what do you got? 500 bucks and a chance for 1,000 right after this. We'll come back. Well, I beg you. That's usually the first game. And now back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. I was just I was just telling our audience here while we were in commercial, we're just this far from careening right out of control on this show right now. <laughs> Figure thousands of people all over America are going, I'm sick of this. Turn that thing out. Bet up with it. Jim Kennedy is two thousand five hundred dollars, forty-seven seconds, which is a target for you, Dave. Dave Brown has 500, and he's going to try to beat that. Uh, mind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. Okay. Same four words. Same four words. There we go. Good luck. Thank you. First word, five letters. It was heaven sent. It was heaven sent. Ready? Ready. Go. N. N. M. It was heaven sent. A. So much for biblical history, guys. I got Moses. <laughs> yeah, well, Moses, you did get. You're right, yeah, 50%. Manna is what we were looking Manna. for there. That's a thing that uh, God sent down to feed the people of uh, Israel as they were escaping from Egypt and going toward Israel. Okay. Okay. Second word, seven letters. They have deck hands. They have deck hands. Ready? Ready. Go. L. D. S. A. They have deck hands. R. Dealers? Yes. The next word, eight letters. It's a hard word. It's a hard word. Ready? Ready. Go. C. E. E. That's a hard word. N. Concrete. Yep. The next word has nine letters. They have a lot of face-to-face -face meetings. They have a lot of face-to-face -face meetings. Ready? Ready. Go. Y. W. D. They have a lot of face-to-face -face meetings. N. Newlyweds. That's right. 9.6 seconds left for this last word. Five letters. A little nervous, Jim? Well, I thought that was the last word. <laughs> no, unfortunately. <laughs> it's a tricky business. It's a tricky business. Ready? Ready. Go. C. M. Magic. Got it. 6.6. .6. Congratulations. Boy, oh, I tell you what, it was not easy. All right. Well, Jim, you've got 2,500 in our thanks. Good luck to you. Uh, Dave's going to come back and try for 12,000. Right up the And now, back to Chuck Willery and today's winner. Well, as parting gifts today, we're also giving away Gideon Bibles. <laughs> okay, Dave, $1,500, uh, going for $12,000, two words under 10 seconds. And uh, 
Here we go. First word, six letters. They're a real ball of fire. They're a real ball of fire. Now watch me. They're a real ball of fire. They're a real ball of fire. Ready? Ready. Go. E. S. C. They're a real ball of fire. Comet. Yeah. Single or plural. Comet. 5.2, doesn't matter. Seven letters, 5.2 seconds. He talks back. He talks back. Ready? Ready. Go. R. E. T. He talks back. What do you think it was? Any idea? It was debater. debater. You needed that D before you get there. Boy, these are, these are toughies. $13,000. That's all the time we have for today. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Come on now. Stay tuned for MacGyver, next on USA. Scrabble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Scrabble is a Red Grundy production.